Hello everyone, welcome back to the uh, build of Santa Ana. I think this is, I would call this part 12, part 2, I guess. Um, because I wanted to do the part 12 for uh, some planking of the hall. Um, I haven't, I have done all the, uh, the one side of the ship, the uh, starboard side, it's uh, almost done. Um, I need a couple of planks. Oh, let's just get this over here. I need some couple of uh, a couple of planks here, um, here at the stern. But that's going to take like five minutes to do, so that's uh, that's pretty easy. But uh, otherwise, it's uh, completely done um, on this starboard side. And then we have to go on the on the port side, and. Um, I don't know if I made a mistake or if the frames were a little bit different or I don't know, maybe I uh, I sanded too much, but you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this plank, is, it's the same thing here actually on the uh, on the starboard side, but the, the plank starts off really nice and round, and but then it gets flat. I don't know, I might have, um, might have sanded too much of the, uh, of the frame. It was the same thing on the other side though. Um, so I might have been made a mistake there. Um, what I did to correct this on this side is that I put some extra, put some extra wood on the uh, on the frame and um, um, and sanded them um, a little bit, so they got the correct curve. But now it's uh, it's more full, so you get a more fluff bow. As you can see, it was the same thing here. What I did is that I, I glued some planks on top of the flat pieces. However, because I use CA glue, it uh, leaves some residue, so it, it gets a little bit darker here in the around the wood. Um, so what I'm gonna do is that first thing I'm gonna do when it's uh, when it's planked is that I'm gonna um, well, obviously, I'm going to sand it with some coarse uh, sanding paper, um, grid 80 to start with, and then work my way down to get um, a, a really um, fine grid sandpaper and give it a nice uh, sanding all over, so it's going to be really nice. Um, and then I'm going to give it a one clear coat of varnish, clear varnish, a glossy varnish. Um, what that's what that's, that does is that it basically absorbs um much of the uh, of the dark spots and maybe if there are some white spots it also absorbs them once that is done i'm going to give it a light sanding and then i'm going to put matte varnish on top of it so the ship is going to be matte but the first coat is going to be it's going to be glossy um so you you can get a lot of these or i can get a lot of these um spots black spots and stuff um, away it's not sanded completely done yet it's still an ongoing process, um, and yeah, and so the ship is going to be matte varnish. Um, yeah, once that is done, um, we can continue with uh, with soldering in the uh, the lights and putting in the uh, aluminium foil. Um, as you can see, I put the aluminium foil in. I also showed you that the last video. Um, we need to do that all the way, and it's simply just because that I want to be absolutely sure that snow light is coming through. So solder the lights in, and then the lights are pretty much done. Um, I have the uh, the wires sticking out of the bottom. Also, um, I almost forgot that I needed to uh, to do the. Uh, to, to do the uh, stern cannon ports, so um, I made those as well. Because once this is done, once the planking is done of the hull, um, we actually start working on the um, yeah and, and the lights and whatnot inside the ship. But the next big thing we need to do is that uh, we need to um, begin the uh, begin building the stern up. Um, and figuring out where to put lights in that as well. Um, the first piece is actually here. Um, you put it in there. So it's uh, because these uh, stern cannon ports here uh, in the stern, they're going to be cl closed up, and it's easy to do from the inside. Um, so and obviously, when, once you put this on, 
um, you don't have access to it anymore. So do that before you put this part on. Um, also, something we need to do when the uh, hull is done is to is to uh, put the uh, the bow section on. Um, so we can start uh, doing this and doing the uh, the keel as well. Um, yeah, and then the rubbing, rubbing streaks and uh, all that. But it's, it's, it's starting to get more interesting. Once this, uh, once this, uh, well, at this point, very boring part because it takes um, takes so much time. Um, once that is done, it's it starts to get a little more interesting with doing details on the stern, and you have to build cannons, um, assemble and build the cannon carriages with cannons that you need to. Um, to hammer down with nails in this uh, in this deck, and glue them, and then the uh, then the, another deck on top, and then cannons again. And so it's it's just, it starts to get a little more interesting. You also need to do the deck fittings and stuff, and there's a lot of stuff that we need to do as um, still. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue with uh, with doing the uh, with doing the whole planking. Um, I'm going to film a little bit of it, but I mean, it's not, once you've seen five minutes of hull planking, you've basically seen everything. Um, it's not that, uh, it's not that exciting to see. Um, you still have the, uh, the rather steep curve um, at the stern that we need to go around, but it's, uh, I managed this one pretty good. I'm hoping I can match the, uh, the other side as well. Um, yeah, so. This is the uh, the status. It's been a few um, few days since I posted the last video. That was just a quick update, but this is actually uh, some uh, a progress video. So that's uh, that's nice. Um, and before anyone uh, starts yelling that uh, that um, glossy varnish uh, is not good on a model ship, it's I mean I don't I don't like glossy ships. But someone might do glossy ships, and there's nothing wrong with doing glossy ships. I've been doing this model ship building for like 20 plus years. I've tried everything. Uh, I had glossy ships, I have matte ships, I have satin uh, ships. Um, I've, normally I paint with Humbrol uh, paint, um, but it's really difficult to get in Denmark um, because the EU made it illegal. Um, so I switched to acrylics, so I'm getting used to that, but I've tried that also. Um, I tried, um, on Lady Nilsson, I did the uh, matte acrylic varnish as well, but I, I really didn't like it because the, the acrylics kind of... It might have been me that, it, that started working on it before it started to, uh, to, to settle properly, but it was dry to the touch, um, but it started to... Uh, to like rub away, um, and I didn't like that. It wasn't, uh, yeah. I didn't. I don't think that was really nice. Um, so I, I using um, really uh, hardcore uh, sh ship varnish that you also use on the, the wooden ships that we have down in the harbor. I um, used to sail on the uh, oldest schooner in Denmark. It was built in 1895. Uh, and the owner, he was really pedantic about how the ship looked. So we needed to paint a lot and we needed to varnish a lot. And he used, uh, we used uh, glossy varnish on booms and masts and stuff like that on, on stuff with natural wood. We, uh, it was, it was gloss varnished. Um, everything else was kind of matte varnished. Um, so they are used. It's not something that you, you don't use on, on, on ships, but on, on real ships, but it's, Basically, what it comes down to is that it's your own preference on what you want to do with the ship that you're building. Um, I'm not building for a museum, I'm just building for my own enjoyment. Um, so, yeah, do whatever you want with your ships. There's nothing wrong, there's nothing correct. There's just the way that you do it. Uh, my my hull planking, for instance, is probably the wrong way to do it because I didn't taper the uh, the planks going going down. Um, I did another style, um, and that's probably wrong to some people. Uh, but for others, just normal. Um, the instructions actually called for this type of uh, this type of planking, so I followed the instructions on this one. 
also because the the uh, the bend on the um, on the stern was uh, so steep that if I needed to, it, it would become really 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 difficult to to make that bend at the stern if I needed if I had to taper the uh, the uh, the wood the planks. So yeah. Anyways, do what you want. It's your ship. Mine's gonna be uh, mine's gonna be Matt. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to continue, as I said, by uh, by planking the uh, the uh, the ship, and um, I uh, guess I'm going to see you in the next video. So thank you for joining me. Bye.